All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. I am the brother Charles of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Just back here again to do another lesson. And um, I was watching Elder Apostle Tahar's page, and he did a good video, as he always do, uh, edifying. You know, the lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And um, he had mentioned this scripture, Psalms 21. And I just wanted to read into it. It's not too long, but it's pretty short, 13 verses. So uh, this is Psalms 21 and 1. It says, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. So that lets you know that King David, you know, uh, basically put this together. It says, a king shall joy in thy strength. O Lord, Yahweh, and in thy salvation, how great shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart desire and has not withholden the request of his lips. Shalai. All right. Because, you know, Yahweh Shai said, uh, what's that in Mark? Is it in Mark? I believe so. He said everything that uh, that you ask for, he shall give it. Matter of fact, let me let me get it one second. All right, quick preset. This is uh, Mark chapter 11 and 24. Now, this is Yahweh Shai words, right? It says, Mark 11, and I'll start at 22. It says, And Yahweh Shai answering, say unto them, Have faith in Yahweh. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which, which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he say. Alright? And that's when you make your supplications to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, that's all the elect. It says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire... When ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. All right. So that's that's the point. So let me get back to the scripture here in Psalms 21 and 1. It says, The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord Yahweh, uh, and in thy salvation, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire and has not withholden the request of his lips, shall I. So the Lord is going to give brothers, starting with the men, okay, the 144,000 in their bodies, all right, governing households, everything that their hearts desire, man, all right? The Lord is with us now, man, and um, everything that this Edomite is doing, all his plans and, you know, everything that, that his agenda is uh, set forth to do is really to bring destruction upon us, but really it's upon his own self, all right, that's why it's, it's good spirit to be praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai at this very time, man. All right, it says, uh, verse 3, For thou preventest him with the blessing of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. And that's ultimately going to happen to the elect, man. All right, you know, when you read in the Apocrypha, 2nd Edris, uh, I forgot the chapter, I can get it. But you, you see that Edris, all right, he uh, he had the vision, and he was with the angel, and he saw Yahweh Shai putting crowns upon his head. Let me um, let me just get the precept. Yeah, have it right there. Here it is, Second Edris, chapter two and forty-three. It says, and in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. And when you read this, you understand that Edris is actually seeing the Lord. So let me continue. It says, I, I, so I asked the angel and said, and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, and that's the elect, and put on immortality, immortal, excuse me, and put on immortal, and have confessed the name of Yahweh, 
now are they crowned and receive psalms. It says, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them psalms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. And then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And that's why it's very important to know the name of the Lord. Because the ones who are the elect, okay, starting with the men, all right, that's going to worship the Lord and be delivered in his times is those, is those who confess the word of the Lord in this world. This world of what? This world of Edom, okay? Because we're still in the rulership and age of Edom, all right, in this world because our world is, is up next to come as it is written, all right? So, you know, from there, and uh, bear with me, this is not scripted. I just... Basically, stopped the video. Apostle Sahar was speaking, you know, and the spirit hit me. I wanted to do a show today, and I wanted to edify those of the whole four elect. And this this uh, triggered me to do so, and so I just went in, cut the video on, and that's that. I haven't even fully read the whole chapter, you know. So this is truly just in the spirit. So bear with me, all right. If I'm stopping and pausing in that nature, so I hope you're edifying. I mean, I hope you're edifying, all right. And that means edify means to build, build upon your faith. Okay, it says uh, Psalms 21 and 3, for thou preventest them, preventest him with the blessing of goodness, blessings of goodness, thou set of a crown of pure gold on his head. He asks, excuse me, he asks life of thee and thou gavest him even length of days forever and ever. And ultimately that is going to come, you know, the elect is going to live forever, man. We're going to be what? Uh, uh, extraterrestrials, all right? spirit and flesh not warring against each other anymore but being as one we're going to be one with our maker with the heavenly father yahweh we're going to be one with our lord all right and savior yahweh shy and we're never going to go against the law that's the new covenant man we're never going to go against and be contrary of the lord's law statutes and commandments he said he's going to take the stony heart out and give us a heart of flesh all right he's going to put the laws in our inward parts so he says he acts life he asks life of thee, and thou gavest him, even length of days, forever and ever. His glory is great, and thou salvation, honor, and majesty hast thou laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceedingly glad with thou countenance. For the king trusteth in the Lord Yahweh, and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved. You hear that Esau? The Lord is not going to be moved. Everything that these Edomites are doing is, is Bible prophecy. It leads up to the Third World War. All right. You know, you see the troops here, you know, and, and I believe, you know, that's the step. That's the next thing. All right. To bring this society back up and running, they're going to need a war. And that war is going to be World War Three. And that war partially is going to be taking place uh, in this place, Babylon which is known as America today, all right? Because the Lord did say he's going to uh, uh, make a great de uh, desolation. You know, this place is going to be utterly destroyed, all right? It says, uh, verse 8, Thou hand shall find out all thou enemies. Thou right hand shall find out, find out those that hate thee, okay? So the Lord has his men set, his prophets, his mouthpiece speaking, and also not just prophets to speak, they watch us, you know. And we all are here manifesting the flesh through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashami was shy to play the right hand side of the Lord. While Esau and the wicked two thirds, they play on the left side of the Lord. All right. It says, Thou hand shall find out all thou enemies. And who's the Lord's hands? That's the Israelites, in particular the elect. All right. You know, you could uh precept that to prove that the hand is the hand is of the Lord. Is um matter of fact I get it real quick. What is it? Uh Ezekiel 25 12. Yeah, let me let me grab it real quick. Uh what am I doing? Alright. Ezekiel 25 and 12, I believe it's in 10. Right, okay. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, 12, it says, uh, I'm going to read it real quick. Ezekiel 25 and 12, it says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because they Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. All right, now this is clearly talking about these, these uh, Edomites. That's what he said, Edom. Who is Edom? The so-called white man, the so-called uh, Caucasian race. All right, starting with the, the elites, the Rothschilds, all right, these uh, international bankers, all right. It says, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, who is Judah, the Israelites. It says, and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them, which he still do to this day. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. And I will cut off man and beast from it and will make it desolate from T-Man and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. Notice he said, I will stretch out my hand. Now, verse 14, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. By the hand of my people. See, there it is, man. My people, Israel. And they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right, so proving that the hand is the Lord's people, starting with the elect. So it says, Thou hand shall find out all thou enemies. And we truly can see that. You got scoffers that willingly uh, run up on brothers or be on a comment board and, and you know, they let it be known that they hate the most high. Scriptures say, he that hate the most high love of death. Uh, Yahweh Shai said, if they despise you, they despise uh, him that's, that sent them. All right. So if you guys out there in this Christianity doctrine, this plantation slavery doctrine, you know, under under mind control, which is the government, because government means mind control. And this system that they in play, they, they put in place and you're coming against the real men of the Lord. Then you're going to have to answer to Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you're truly against the Lord. All right, the Lord did send his men down here to tell you the truth. All right, that's a fact. It says, Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a, 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 fiery, a fiery oven in the time of thy anger. Mm. The Lord Yahweh shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Because ultimately, you know, you're going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. All right. Those who want the soils and land of here in America, you're going to be destroyed by fire. All right. That's why Amos speaks on if you, uh, if you, uh, you know, you get away from the lion, you get away from the bear, you run in the house and lean your hand upon the wall and the serpent bit you. That ultimate means that you can't get away from the destruction. You can't get away from judgment. All right. It says verse 10. It says, their, their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. It says, for they intend evil against thee. They imagine a mysterious device mm, which they are not able to perform. A mysterious device. First on, I want to look up something. And like I said, it's not scripted. So, you know, bear with me. When we teach, we also we learn as well. All right, purpose, description, just, uh, device, plot, right? Um, yeah, we know that part. Just real quick. It says a person of a person animal of their behavior, causing or showing a fond fondness for causing trouble in a playful way all right and that's esau you know he causes trouble he's a serpent he's going back to that serpent in the garden all right that's esau motto man okay it says for they intend evil against thee they imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform and what is that that's ultimately their new world order all right they want to put microchips in everybody and make you really cattle you know they want to rule over you with power and control they want to rule they, these edomites want to be as if they the most high they want to they want to basically govern over everything and every every little thing that you do they want to have a hand in it they want to know how much you eating how much you consuming in your flesh you know they want to know where you going they want to know how many steps you took for you to get there they need they want to be everything they want to be the most high that's why uh, brothers should go back and watch the movie. Um, shout out some couple of movies I want to watch when I get in the crib. Um, I want to watch Lucy again. Uh, watch The Gamer. Uh, the Gamer with the guy that played as, uh, I don't know his name, but he played as Spartus, uh, Spartan. 
Um, and it was another one. Uh, uh, what's the one? Brother Shalomah, he always put brothers on. I can't think of it right now. But anyway, there was a couple of movies to watch, you know, spiritual movies. It says, for they intend evil. All right, let's read 12. It says, therefore, save us. Therefore, shall thou make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready thou arrows upon thou strings against the face of them. <laughs> All right. And ultimately, them arrows is them nukes, man. All right. Be thou exalted, Yahweh, in thy own strength. So will we sing and praise thy power. Call halal la Yahweh bashim man. All right. All praises to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, um, to those who have the hope for elect to build upon your faith and keep it moving. Keep pushing toward the kingdom, giving the Lord no rest. Keep praying with supplication and spirit. You know, pray for faith, pray for strength. Pray for, um, you know, um, courage. Pray for endurance, to endure to the end, man. You know? So, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect that's scattered around the four corners of the earth, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.